Okay, crafters, we're back, and uh, I got a little, I've got my little column maker here, and I went ahead and cut a bunch of uh, uh, tiles that are that are a foam board that are all one and one and one eighth inch square. They fit snugly into the into the. If they don't fit snugly, you can always trim them up uh, easily till they fit, but they fit snugly in here. And I'm going to cut some more here. I like I like and I like the tiles to be one and an eight inch squared. It fits really nicely into the into the my column maker there. And like I said, if if the if the piece, if it's too big, like I might have just cut these a little too big here, you can always trim them with your scissors. Easy, easy done. We like easy done uh, here at the Dragon's Den. Because number one, I have a game on Saturday, every Saturday, and uh, I am also an author and a uh, uh, game designer. And my game system is going to be coming out soon, and uh, I'll be back. Reminds me, I'm going to be doing some videos for my game system. They won't be on the Dragons Den channel; they'll be on the Adventure Maximum channel, which I'm going to be creating, which is uh, an, the, my name of my game is Adventure Maximum. Uh, and if you're if you're here for the crafting, don't worry. Just just I'm not stopping the crafting channel. I'm just uh, you can you can just hang out for the crafting. But if you want to check out the game system, which is on its uh, final approach, it's on crunch time now to get it done. Uh, then I will you can check out my Adventure Maxim channel, which will be the sister channel to this channel. Anyhow, here we go. I'm cutting out these squares, right? And I'm making them fit. I got my little. Uh, box cutter which by the way is from Dollar Tree for a dollar that's really nice and handy uh, they are sharp and uh, great for cutting the foam board and like I said if a piece doesn't fit you just cut it to shape and put the next one in and you're gonna they, until they snugly fit in there okay I got a stack of them here so let's go to the next stage and that is where you're gonna hot glue them Let me grab my hot glue gun here all right uh, reload my hot glue gun. I, I made this video before my hot glue gun ran out before I even got started and I was like oh no I couldn't find any hot glues. All right take your take your uh, I've got your column maker here take your one piece that's your bottom piece there put it in put your next piece in add, a, add some hot glue to it don't get crazy with the hot glue because you don't want to stick to the sides of your hot column maker put it right in there like that this is it's easy it's fun and uh, you might get a little glue hair every once in a while, but don't worry about that. Just put it in there nice and snug. See that? And I'm trying a different camera angle than I usually have, so uh, I hope you can see it better. There you go. You can see it's fit in there. You can always I'll move it around a little bit with your until it fits better. And see the column, the column maker thing that I make here, it helps keep these pieces straight when you glue them. I mean, it's not a. Oh yeah, this is working out. And you just go completely up. And see what I'm trying to do here. I'm getting glue hair everywhere. But believe me, I craft better when I'm not on the camera. But what I'm trying to do here, I see all these crafters that got these really cool brick-like columns and uh, for their dungeons and stuff. I don't have a proxon cutter or anything fancy like that. All I have is me and some Dollar Tree stuff. So I wanted to kind of get that kind of same kind of an effect with it. So this is I, I came up with this little column maker here, and uh, it kind of makes it like old brick worn out stand in there and your in your dungeon and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you another way another thing I do and that's you can decorate these columns up and make them not look so plain but right now we're just making the basic co column for the dollar dungeon and see this is pretty easy there you go you get the idea and So you don't want to get too much glue on it, just enough to push them together. And uh, I'm going to put the glue gun away. 
there you go. You see how that works? And you can always trim them up or whatever. And uh, I'm going to take it out of there. There you go. Still a little wet in the glue. I should let it set more, but that's, you get the idea. There you go. There is your basic column for your dungeon. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to put a weight on them. And then I'm going to give, I'll show you how to give them the brick stone effect that you want. All right. But there you go. The column maker, with the use of column maker, you made your first standing column. All right. And I will continue on in the next video to show you how you can adorn these up and make them look uh, all, all like brick, standing brick or whatever. So I will see you on the flip side here at the Dragon's Den as we continue building our dollar columns. See you then. Bye for now.